So starting with text, let's just start up here uh, and practice by changing our title. So text is pretty simple. You can just change the, for the most part, just change text. And then hit recompile. And when it's done compiling, you should see the changes that you made on the left show up on the right. And you can see there's a little bit of a command line here. Uh, I've, you can see that this is defined as the title. If I wanted to change the authors, you can see this whole block here is the author block. This is kind of a neat place to discuss uh, the formatting value of LaTeX. You can see right after my name is a thing called footnote. And this insert job title, department grade, whatever here, that is, is right after my name in the author slot because it's associated with my name, but it's not listed right after my name. LaTeX automatically formats it to come on down here. And that little asterisk is automatically formatted. And then as is typical, uh, the first author has an asterisk by it, then the second author has some other little thing by it, third author's got another one, and fourth author's got a fourth odd little uh, item there. And you don't have to decide what these little things are. LaTeX chooses it for you and then puts them in order down here. So that's one example of formatting benefits of LaTeX. If you download the AIAA template, it does all of this formatting for you. Now there are a few uh, gotchas in terms of entering text into LaTeX. Uh, and so let's scoot down here to the introduction and I'll, and I'll show you those. You can see that uh, a lot of your characters on your keyboard are used not just as text, but also as commands in this command line. So for example here, this backslash uh, with some letters after it here is a specific command in LaTeX that tells it to make this T big and the HIS small as it's done here and make them all capitalized. So that's this command. And then you can see the brackets are also used within that command, which means that if I, put, if I actually wanna just type a backslash here, it's going to change this and think whatever is after that backslash is a command. A similar command, a common command is the percent sign, which is the command for uh, commenting out text. And there's a number of other ones, for example, and, which won't really change your text, but if I recompile this here, we're expecting that and to be right after the R. So if you are, and then there's just a space, there's no and there. So it just didn't recognize it. And then it also throws up this error message here. So there's actually a very simple way of doing almost all of these, which is just a backslash. So if again, if I go to percent sign and then I put a backslash in front of it, now it will put the word, the, the, the percent sign into my document. So for the most part, almost anything that you want to uh, put in that is a symbol or a character that may also be a command for LaTeX, you just put a backslash into it and then you can see it put my percent sign here. So there is a huge list of these on the internet. Um, I will put a few examples right here. So these are, see, these are a few of the examples I already prepared and we'll recompile it. So these are a few examples of things that LaTeX doesn't recognize as text unless you put a backslash in front of them. And so if I put a backslash in front of each of these, you can see they come out exactly as you would hope that they will come out. And then there's a few other ones like a tilde, uh, a caret, and a backslash that you actually have to type the words. So for example, if you want a backslash, you have to put the word backslash in. So there's probably a huge number of those that you can't think of, but as is true with any um, coding language, if you're not sure how to do something, just go to Google and say, how do I do this uh, in LaTeX? And uh, you'll find uh, Stack Exchange has a whole bunch of um, uh, big user groups for LaTeX. You'll find a lot of LaTeX tips and tricks if you just Google what you want to do. But this is this is uh, these are the primary gotchas in entering text. 